Greetings everyone, on board with Jonathan with you here today on Friday. I hope your week is uh, going well and I hope you look forward to the weekend uh, ahead. I wanted to do this video um, to talk about how did Jonathan's love affair for the cruise um, industry and travel begin? Well, I'm gonna talk to you about that right now and well, let's get into it. So I used to go to day camp very, very long time ago. I used to go to day camp um, and I kind of always look forward to kind of the ending of camp because I knew, you know, Labor Day weekend, right? All those, you know, when, when camp ended, I used to go for the full eight weeks mostly. So I would go for two months in the summer. And then that Labor Day, when Labor Day was or right after camp ended and before school started, I knew I was going somewhere with my parents. I didn't necessarily know where, but I knew I was either potentially going on an airplane or, or something or a road trip or something. I knew I was going to stay at a hotel and I was going somewhere um, to explore and, and check into a hotel and see where we were going. So getting back to how did Jonathan discover the cruise bug or the, you know, the cruise lines and all this. So my, I had a good friend back in camp and his mother was a travel agent. So back then, and even, even now, um, they had access to travel brochures. So I, I think he gave me, um, a carnival brochure and I was looking through the uh, carnival brochure and he would give me certain ones, different itineraries and different ships doing different things. And I was looking at it and I'm like, wow, this is really cool. And it was like my first, you know, contact with looking at ships and all the things that they had to offer. And back in the day, um, you could order videos from the, from the various cruise lines. I think all the cruise lines had videos and they would send them to your house. So I would, um, I, would, I think I called the customer service number. I said, I like this video on this ship. And I actually remember, I said, can you send me the video on the Carnival Imagination and send it? And they sent the video, it was a VHS cassette. And I watched the video and I'm like, wow, this is a, you know, not knowing anything about cruising. And um, I was probably 15, 14 or 15 at the time. What, what do I know about cruising, right? So I watched the video, Kathy Lee Gifford was the spokesperson for Carnival and she did all the videos. And I'm looking at the video, I'm like, wow, this is awesome. I wanna go. So I show um, the, the brochure and my, I think one of my parents watched the video and they're like, let's, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go on a cruise in, uh, in December of 99. So I go and I, you know, this is, you know, 23, 24 years ago. I go and I think I put a, a hold with my dad. We called and we put a hold. I don't know if he paid any deposit money and we put a hold on the Carnival Imagination. I think it was a five night cruise um, out of Miami. So put a hold, right? Then this is over the weekend. And then I go, I go back to camp on Monday, Monday morning. And my friend whose mother is again, a travel agent, he gives uh, my friend uh, a brochure of celebrity cruises. And I'm like, oh man, these ships are much, I mean, what did I know at 14? These ships are much nicer, more elegant, more sophisticated. These cabins are really, really nice. So what does Jonathan do? He calls the customer service number and asks for the Celebrity Century uh, cassette videotape sent to, my, sent to my house. And then I think it came like a week later and I, and I watched the video. I'm like, oh my God, this is a beautiful ship. I wanna go on this cruise line. So um, my parents watched the video. They're like, really? It's completely different ship. Celebrity was celeb celebrity was celebrity back in the day. Really, really, really good. Not like it's not bad. Not, not saying it's bad now. It's, it was very different. So we quickly uh, canceled the Carnival Imagination Five Night Cruise. And with the help of my parents, um, I actually called the cruise line. And we made our reservation for the Celebrity Century uh, for the sailing on December 23rd, 1999. It was a seven night Western Caribbean cruise. It went to, I think, Key West, Cozumel, Ocho Rios, and maybe Grand Cayman and two sea days. And this was over uh, Christmas. It was a Christmas, it was a holiday cruise. And remember the cabin because it's your, you know, you remember your first, right? You remember the cabin, it was cabin 1123, an ocean view, just an ocean view on the penthouse deck with all the suites and everything. It was a, just a standard ocean view, the ship, had very minimal balconies at that point back in 99. I think the ship had maybe 63, 63 to about 100 balconies at that time. So they had very minimal balconies when the ship was built. And I made the reservation, me, I called Celebrity and I made the booking. I told them exactly what I wanted. They made, made the reservation. We hung up and I said, can you send me a fax? And we actually had an old fax machine and they sent the fax machine 
fax confirmation of the cruise to the house and we had the uh the confirmation of the cruise and that lasted about four or five years it was a special carbon paper and eventually faded so i thought it would it would be um a fun trip down memory lane to show you how kind of the seed was planted in the cruise the cruise bug that you can't get out you can't get out of someone you know how the uh the cruise was spectacular amazing extraordinary all the wonderful words that you could describe something that you find so much that you find so enjoyable and that's how jonathan uh discovered travel and especially cruising um and i think one of the first days we were having breakfast in the uh I, it was called the islands cafe on the century now they call them now they call it on celebrity the ocean view cafe so we were eating breakfast and we saw the carnival imagination come <laughs> come in dock. I think they had an identical itinerary until obviously our cruise line, our cruise itinerary was longer and they docked literally across from us. And I'm like, oh man, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm on, I'm glad I'm on the, uh, I'm glad I'm on this ship, even though there's not, there was nothing wrong with Carnival Imagination at that time, All right? The ship was only um, four years old. So Century was also four years old at the time, built in 1995. So uh, the, the, the cruise was amazing. It, it was fantastic. I remember parts of the cruise to this day, um, it made me want to um, have cruising and getting a part of the cruise industry as part of my life. If you watched um, uh, way, way back, maybe three or four months ago with me and Samantha, we did Onboard with Jonathan. I talked about how I owned my own uh, Expedia uh, Cruises store in Melbourne, Florida, where I saw, was a, a cruise travel agency for f over five years and, and really got involved in selling all the major brands of the cruise lines and how that was great to kind of talk about cruise ships and cruise lines, itineraries, and all the things about what makes the cruise industry so amazing. So I thought you would enjoy this little clip on how I got started, how I got the travel bug, and how um, how I discovered my first cruise um, with um, uh, these amazing brochures. I think the brochures were a lot better back in the day, but obviously we don't need those now. We do have them, but everything is online. You have virtual tours, you have YouTube <laughs> to watch all the videos of the ships, and that's how that's how I got started. If you have any questions about uh, celebrity, um, any uh, advice I can give you about the various lines, I'd be happy to talk with you. I appreciate you so much for watching Onboard with Jonathan. If you could do me a big favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I sincerely appreciate it. Wish you a wonderful Friday. Hope your day goes fast and you have a wonderful weekend ahead. Thanks for watching Onboard with Jonathan out.